Never will I leave a fallen comrade. That's an unspoken promise among all American soldiers, and has inspired some of the most heroic and most tragic moments, including the 1993 Battle of Mogadishu, Somalia, when 18 American soldiers died trying to rescue two downed helicopter crews. Now technology exists to keep that promise without necessarily exposing human beings to further danger. Unaware of a sniper at a great distance, the soldier moves forward into the open field. In 2004, the Pentagon launched the design of a robot medic for evacuating injured troops from the battlefield. The large robotic evacuation vehicle debuted in 2005. Rev follows GPS waypoints to drop off another small extraction robot, its sidekick, Rex. The medic directs the robot to the downed soldier's position. The soldier then deploys a packbot equipped with a lightweight, flexible sled to assist. Rex uses an articulated arm and claw to drag a casualty back to Rev. They all ride together to the hospital. In coming years, robots might handle a full range of emergency medical roles during wartime. The Battlefield Extract Assist Robot, or BEAR, is designed to carry, rather than drag, injured troops out of combat. With its upright posture, bendable knees, and padded arms, it looks more like the human medics it might one day replace. And on purpose. Robot designers incorporate as many person-like qualities as they can in order to soothe the patient. Bear even has a head with eyes and ears, and eventually a video screen so doctors can talk to the patient remotely. So far, these medical robots are all just experiments. Who knows if they'll ever see the light of day. Yet, with the government pouring millions of dollars into developing future medical robots, someone believes it's a good idea.